do your knee pads wind up being shin pads or side protection pads or you've got the elastic wrapped around your legs so tight it's cutting the blood flow off from your legs. Let's fix that. What you want to do is put on your pair of trousers that you're going to be doing this to, wear them for a little while, just for sort of like say half an hour, let them settle, let the waist work out its center and your trousers working out their center. Once they've done that, you're going to be putting your knee pad on, but do it so it's in the position on how you would have it on your leg if you was kneeling down. Whilst that's in place, do your straps up how you would be using them normally. Then we're gonna get a bit of gaffer tape or duct tape, however you wanna call it. And what we wanna do is wanna put that so it's parallel with the bottom of your knee pad and stick it into place. And you wanna do it so it's as level as possible here. So coming straight up your leg and then straight across. Now once you've got that in place, then you wanna work out the center line going down onto that so that then you can put a little mark so you know whereabouts your center is of your knee pad. Do the same thing on the other leg. Right, so now you can take your trousers off. Now what we're gonna do is gonna work out, fortunately I've already done this, so you sort of see the idea. Work out from the bottom of the knee pad to whereabouts you want it to actually be, which is 40 millimeters. So now what we're gonna do is measure 40 millimeters from the top of that tape because we know that's level with the bottom of our knee pad and put another piece of tape there making sure that it's parallel with the first piece that you put on now what we're going to do is we're going to put a bit of velcro on top of that piece of tape making sure it's in line with that mark whereabouts we make sure that the knee is going to be center and then put tape around on the edges of that as well So that it looks a bit like that. What we're going to do is repeat that exact same process on the other leg plus with the pad. So you do your 40 millimeters up, stick your piece of tape in and then do everything else exactly the same. Like so. Then what you want to do is you want to get yourself a piece of cardboard and a plastic bag. Put the cardboard inside the plastic bag, fold it over going to be very obvious what this is for in a little while but now you're going to slide it up into your trouser leg up to whereabouts your work is so like that but inside your trouser leg okay and get yourself another piece of cardboard for another job in a second so now we've done that got your cardboard in we've done that we're all ready to start gluing it up what you want to do is use a contact adhesive and you want your bits of velcro get your contact adhesive really rub it in to the back of your pieces of velcro then do the same thing on the trousers this is why you've gone and stuck a piece of cardboard and plastic bag in there because if any of this glue seeps through you're not going to wind up gluing your trousers together do exactly the same thing with that one and then do exactly the same thing with this now this one you have to leave it for five or ten minutes depending on which one you use is going to be depending on how long you're going to have to wait once you've waited long enough, or what the instructions say on how long you should leave it, you want to use a soft piece on your trousers. You want to offer it up so that the corner just goes into the corner there, and then just touch it with your finger gently. And then work your way along, sticking the edges down just gently. And then work it along that way, gently sticking the edges down so that then you get the air to actually come out of the Velcro and then push it down nice and firm so then that's stuck in place. Repeat exactly the same thing on the back of your knee pad and exactly the same thing with the other leg. Then give it its 24 hours, which it should be for it to go off properly and then you're all good to go. As soon as you have got that in place though, rip this tape off. Don't wait the 24 hours before you rip that tape off. You can take that tape off straight away what this tape will do, any excess glue that you've gone and put over on the edges will all be on that tape instead of all over on your trousers making a mess. And then you can just peel that all off and you're all done. So I hope that helps some of you out. Cheers guys.